of us know about sleep conditions like insomnia and narcolepsy, but a less common disorder can make you feel extremely tired during the day despite getting what doctors would say is enough sleep. Health educator Dr. Eric Griggs joining us now to explain how idiopathic hypersomnia works. Good morning, Dr. Griggs. Good morning. So well, I, idiopathic hypersomnia is a mouthful, but what is hypersomnia? So idiopathic, when we hear the term idiopathic, meaning that we really don't have a medical reason. Uh, it's something that happens. There's idiopathic hypersomnia, idiopathic hypertension. It just it manifests and shows itself. Idiopathic hypersomnia is sleeping more than 10 to 12 hours and not getting, not feeling refreshed at all. Daytime naps don't work. You're just foggy and you're constantly tired. And, and, and I don't know if, if that's related to, I know chronic fatigue is a medical term. I mean, chronic fatigue is something that people suffer from, but that might be something totally different. And you can tell me if that's the case. I know that if you're sleeping, there is, because we always hear people don't get enough sleep, people don't get enough sleep. In this case, 10 to 12 hours feels like might be too much sleep. Yeah, it is too much sleep and chronic, okay, let me go back. Idiopathic hypersomnia, getting too much sleep can cause chronic fatigue. Yes. Fatigue is feeling tired all the time. Chronic means it's just, it's never ending. Yeah. Idiopathic hypersomnia, getting too much sleep can cause you, these in, in these uh, people can cause them to feel fatigued all the time, which is chronic fatigue. Now I know it's it's probably I would assume probably a little bit rarer than like insomnia and th those kind of things that people deal with when they just have trouble falling asleep or staying asleep. I had a friend in high school that slept more than any person I ever knew. He took multiple naps a day and he was always tired and he was always taking naps and I've never met anybody like that since. But this is probably one of those situations where now looking back on it, I think it be, might be fair to say he may, may have had hypersomnia. Well, it can be caused by, you know, idiopathic means that they can't find a reason for it, but it can be caused by medications, it can be caused by drugs, it can be caused by other, other conditions. Now, interestingly, uh, it's found more commonly in women than in men, 5% mm -hmm. uh, of women. Uh, mm -hmm. which is interesting. And there's a 39% link, uh, familial link, like family history mm. of hypersomnia. You, get, you can get whole families that sleep sure. a lot. Yeah, that's very interesting too. And I know I was reading a little bit about it and you know, the people can also, who may be suffering from hypersomnia or idiopathic hypersomnia can also uh, have depressive states or have depression here and there, or go through mood swings and, and that kind of thing. And you know, we do know too, whenever somebody's suffering from depression, they, depending on the person, may depend to sleep a lot more. Yeah, the, the oversleeping can cause feelings of social isolation. It can be frustrating because it can be hard to function socially and function uh, to have a job. Again, uh, idiopathic means we can't find a cause. Yeah. A lot of times it can be caused by obstructive sleep apnea. Mm -hmm. It can be caused by uh, thyroid issues, mm -hmm. uh, medications, and other habits. There are, it, it's not just, there's, there's primary, secondary, and idiopathic, I mean, and idiopathic. So uh, it, it can have a cause, and the feelings of isolation can lead to. It's probably a good idea. Look, if you are sleeping 10 to 12 hours a day and still feeling extremely tired, probably a good idea to just go check in with your doctor. Well, yeah, anytime. You should, <laughs> if you start to sleep too much, you need to talk to your doctor and ask about getting a sleep study, mm -hmm. start keeping a sleep journal, mm -hmm. uh, and get medical attention. Absolutely. All right. Thank you, as always, Dr. Eric Griggs.